Hey folks, Dave Delavani here with our next video in the series called Business Not As Usual. And the purpose of this series is to interview local business owners, CEOs, even clergy, nonprofits, uh, people like that, just to see what's been going on with their business kind of BC before COVID, what's changed during the, the, the pandemic and our quarantine, and perhaps uh, what's gonna happen later on. So um, I have with me Michael Palacci, and he is the founder of Stafford Technologies and also Contractors Websites Plus, and he's gonna tell you a little bit about what those are in a minute. But uh, welcome, Michael, great to have you on. Thanks, Dave. Um, Michael and I go, uh, we, we are in the same networking group. Uh, we uh, share the love of the, the New York Mets, <laughs> although Michael <laughs> actually still goes up and goes, up, goes to games, actually. All for the possible. Hopefully there'll be a season. <laughs> Yeah. When, this, when this thing lifts, we'll find out what baseball is going to look like in the future yeah. uh, and all that. So um, the first question I always like to ask is it kind of before COVID, a few months ago, how was your business or your businesses operating and um, uh, was business good or bad? And how do you, how do you kind of operate? Well, well, things were humming all along. We were doing really well. Um, and then uh, COVID came. Um, we're still doing okay though, but but before COVID, we were doing pretty well. We were developing new products to bring to market, and uh, we we were really just humming along. Fantastic. So Stafford Technologies, I know you do website development and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. and then Contractor Websites Plus. Tell me what that sort of niche is all about. Well, Contractor Websites Plus is a brand of Stafford Technologies uh, where we concentrate on contractors. I spent 25 years in contracting. So I talk the talk and I walk the walk and I know those guys very well. Easy for me to talk to them. So we figured it's a natural niche for us. So we do niche with Contractor Websites Plus. Oh, okay. So still still developing websites, but developing web, the marketing, contractor industry. Fantastic. The whole thing, yeah. Great idea. Great. Okay. And with so the technologies, by the way, we can do for anybody. You know, gotcha. okay. um, that's why we developed the other brands. Fantastic, yeah. And you've helped me out a lot with things like uh, how to get my – uh, Google your business and all that kind of thing up. So I know you know your stuff. So Digital um, marketing in 60 seconds or less. That's right. That's Find right. it on social media. <laughs> so now that now that COVID has hit and we're kind of locked up in our homes, what, is, what has changed for you and the way you're doing business? Well, one of the, the advantages that we have is that we had closed our office in 2016. We also had a computer IT shop and we were doing uh, computer uh, um I'm sorry, network installations and stuff like that. But we closed that down and we had moved back into the home. So my wife and I have been working together for 11 years now and being in proximity to each other is kind of hard to get used to, but we've had a long time to get used to it. So things really didn't change as far as the working environment, um, but things did change when it comes to sales, that's for sure. Gotcha. So your wife has had to put up with you in person for 11 years now? Yes, and she runs her own company, 610 Merchant Services, as long as helping me with staff and technology. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'll have to get her on my business interview yes. list as well if she's, if she's willing. If you can get her on video. <laughs> That's right. She's more of the shy one, I know. So, And then, uh, so looking forward, um, maybe some changes you've made to your business that you're going to bring forward, or what are, you, what are you looking forward to when we get released from this uh, quarantine? Well, I'm looking forward to continuing what I'm doing. It, it's funny, before COVID-19, we were so busy, and like the cobbler with the shoes falling off his feet, um, like most other digital marketing firms, we never did any of our own marketing because we were just so busy. But because of COVID, I really had a chance to create scheduling that allowed me to do my own marketing, to do my digital marketing in 60 seconds or less videos that are on YouTube, social, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, to even TikTok. Um, and, uh, and so I look forward to, to keeping that going um, once we get out of this crisis because now it's part of my calendar. So it's a yeah. good thing. It's something that a lot of companies can do just because there's no money coming in or there's less money coming in. There are so many things companies can do for themselves for free. And I'm finally taking advantage of those things. Um, and I would love everybody else to take advantage of them as well. That's good. Making making uh, lemonade out of lemons, right? That's making lemonade of, out of lemons, especially the Google My Business stuff. That's something yep. that people ignore. I'm telling you, if you just pay a little bit of attention to it once a week, you'll be 10 times better than what you are now. Fantastic. 
Um, and Michael's, Michael's information is on the screen right behind his head. Pretty cool. That's one of his technologies there. Um, so feel free to contact him and ask him specifically about Google My Business because that's a really good tool to, to use and it's inexpensive as, as well. Um, yeah, I think we're all doing the same thing, kind of in a retooling environment here. I'm actually taking uh, two certification courses in real estate just to keep my, you know, put some more letters after my name and keep my uh, credentials up and all that. So um, and well, that, looking forward to a, a booming business once we get out of this thing. So yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. We all have to look at this as an opportunity. Um, and if you look at it as an opportunity, you kind of change the way you look at things, your perspective, and you come out of it on the other side with with new products or new skills. Then you're better off than when you went in, right? Boom. <laughs> that's a great way to close out the call. Awesome, Michael. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dave.